Uh, Michele, uh, hope you're doing great. Uh, congratulations on your new film, and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much, Francisco. It's a pleasure to talk. So, uh, Michele, one of the things I enjoyed about The Gateway is how it reminded me of some of the older crime street films of the 70s and 80s, where it's, yeah. so, it's, it's more low-key and more about the personal drama between, between the characters. Was this part of your vision originally for this particular story? And, and what are some of these type of films that have inspired you throughout your career? Well, I, that's a very astute uh, observation because it certainly was something that was kind of born out of th that style of storytelling. So I, I do love a lot of the 1970s kind of new American cinema, like the BBS stories um, and, you know, things like Cassavetti's Killing of a Chinese Bookie or Fat City by John Huston. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, the, uh, the Peck and Paul. But, you know, what they used to do in those films uh, was typically just to find a way to create characters who are so deeply flawed and morally ambiguous <clears throat> that it opened up a whole world that you wouldn't usually see, you know? And so it, it just seemed like a, a, a correct entry point to understand, you know, an inner city crime thriller. Hey, it, def it definitely showed it and I appreciated it while watching it. I understand that you come from a music video background, lots of experience in that area. So I wanted to ask you what elements, especially in the visual area, did you try to incorporate into this film? And if you can say maybe which one is your favorite shot of the film without spoilers? <laughs> Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, I, I kind of came up shooting uh, uh, music videos and TV commercials throughout the early 2000s. Um, so I, I've shot a lot, a lot of them. And, you know, they, they were great at a given point in the sense that they are a uh, launching pad in terms of understanding equipment and understanding crews and uh, also the balance of art and commerce, which I, I think is super vital in terms of, you know, being a storyteller. Um But, you know, in switching to movies, you, you have to be so careful about not going crazy with all the gizmos and the doohickeys and all, all the cranes and all that stuff, because uh, it, it's an actor's medium. You know, you got to capture that. However, we did go a little crazy with the, uh, the furniture heist setup, um, which, you know, we, we yes. wanted to do over a three day window. That was um, so that, uh, that was my my favorite uh sequence of the whole film it's so really cool chaotic and crazy and it's it, you, you keep going and you keep going into different rooms and you're like <laughs> what is going on but i like it so yeah that that, that, that was my favorite shot of the film uh, so again uh, Michele, yeah, me, me too. That, that was the brainchild of our dp brian newman who, uh, who i actually shot all those commercials and videos with back in the day and uh, he's not afraid to go a little crazy doing strange things along the way that's awesome so uh Michele, thank you again for your time Congrats on yeah. the new film. Stay safe and saludos from Puerto Rico. Okay, thank you so much. I love Puerto Rico, Francisco. Be good, dude.